time of parables. Today we are going to be interviewing Emily Rose on a parable. Please listen and wait for a reply. Thank you. What parable are we talking about? Today we are going to be talking about the unforgiving servant. This, oh. What is this parable about? This parable is about a master who owes who has a servant who owes him everything. The, but the servant cannot repay him and the master is going to put him into jail. But then he but then the master takes pity on him and says, You do not even have to you, you can go and don't have to pay me anything. Could you put this in a modern day setting? Yes. One day, a man walked into the bank and found that he could not pay what he owed the man at the bank. And filled with pity, and the bank, the banker, and filled with pity, who owed the man. That that week, the man that had just that just had his debt dismissed found one of his um, clients. Who owed him money, very small money, in fact. The man did not dismiss the debt, but told everybody how bad this man was because he couldn't repay him. Do you think this the first master love was unconditional? Yes, I do think it was unconditional, as he let a big debt go. Is the Lord's forgiveness of our sins unconditional? Yes, it is. It is greater than any other dismissed on earth. If someone asks you to dismiss their debts, how would you forgive them? I would forgive. I'd probably forgive them recently if I had what. If they didn't have enough money, but spent it constantly, it I would not. I would probably not dismiss, dismiss them with the debt on my hand. I knew they tried as hard as possible to to to. Pay. What kind of behaviour would you expect from someone whose debts have been forgiven? I would expect them to forgive others who has who have debts against them, even the biggest amount. That's it.